If you'd like to code along with this course, you'll need a set of HTML files with no styles. That way we have HTML elements we can style using Bootstrap. If you'd prefer to watch the demos without coding along, feel free to skip to the next video of this course. If you coded along with the HTML course in this series, Gentle Introduction to HTML for Beginners, we built a virtual pet cafe website and saved the files to a pet cafe folder. Feel free to use those files. If you don't have a pet cafe folder, create one. I created my pet cafe folder under Documents. You can then download the code from the HTML course. Here's the link to my GitHub repository for that course. If you don't want to type in that link, you can find it in the lesson links below this video. Following the link, I'm on my GitHub repo for the HTML course. Click the Code button and select Download Zip. It downloads all of the HTML files as a single zip file. Click here to open the downloaded zip file. Navigate down to the Pet Cafe folder in that zip file. In another window, open the Pet Cafe folder you created. Then drag and drop the files from the zip file folder to your Pet Cafe folder. Be sure to include the images. And now we have the files ready to go. Let's close the zip file folder and the HTML page and go back to the slides. To get an idea of what we'll be styling, here's the finished Pet Cafe website. The home page introduces the website. The Meet Our Virtual Pets page displays a list of our virtual pets. Here is the detail for one of the virtual pets. And the user can create a custom virtual pet using this page. But the files we just downloaded only have the HTML. No nice styling yet. We'll be using VS Code as our editor for the remaining demos. See the lesson links below this video for details on installing and using VS Code. We just copied our HTML files and associated images to our Pet Cafe folder. Navigate back up to see the folder. Then right click on the folder and select Open with Code. This opens the Pet Cafe folder with VS Code. If you don't have the option to open with code, open VS Code directly, and then open the Pet Cafe folder from there. Here is VS Code with our Pet Cafe folder open. Let's close the Get Started page. Here are the files in the Pet Cafe folder. We have the images used on the pages in our Images subfolder. Our HTML pages are here. Open the File menu and ensure you have Autosave checked. If not, Click to check it. That way, VS Code will automatically save our changes. VS Code provides extended functionality through extensions. To display these pages in the browser, we'll use the VS Code Live Server extension. Click on Extensions in the left toolbar and ensure you have Live Server installed. If not, search for Live Server here. We want this one. Click to install it. I already have it installed, so we don't see the Install button. Close the Live Server documentation. Click on Extensions again to close the toolbar. When the Live Server extension is successfully installed, we see a Go Live button in the bottom right corner of VS Code. Click it to launch the website in your default browser. And here's the website. The Virtual Pet Cafe Welcome page provides an introduction to the site and displays a form for entry of some basic information. Clicking Meet Our Virtual Pets displays a table of our pets. Note that only Yo-Yo's link has been completed. The other two links don't currently go anywhere. Click on Yo-Yo to see a detail page with an image and other descriptive content. Click Create My Pet to bring up the user entry form. The View My Pets option isn't implemented and doesn't currently link to anywhere. As you can see, none of these pages look very nice. That's because they have no styling. Let's change that. For now, close the browser. Then stop Live Server by clicking on the port number at the bottom right of VS Code. Up next, let's add Bootstrap and style the Pet Cafe website. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.